Hey, my name is Brian Wood of AskBrianWood.com and BrianWoodTips.com. And I'm a Dreamweaver instructor and web developer for 15 years now. And I've been using Dreamweaver for a long time. And I'm constantly on the lookout for really cool things that I can use in my sites and tell my students about. Well, I ran across DMX Zone years ago, and I've been a member since about 2006, and I've enjoyed a lot of the things that they create. Well, I ran across this HTML5 slideshow recently, and I got it, and I downloaded it. It was really easy to install. It works in a lot of different versions of Dreamweaver, and it's really pretty amazing because it's going to add some functionality to your pages that you might not have been able to do before. So once you install this thing, and like I said, it's pretty lightning fast, I can go over to the insert panel, and I'll get the HTML fly slideshow right there if I click on it. And it brings up this dialog box, which allows me to add a bunch of different images. Now, HTML5 is, is pretty much all the rage. I know we've all probably hear, heard about this type of thing um, coming up, uh, browser supporting it, you know, that sort of thing. Um, but I want you to know, you guys, that this DMX Zone extension that you can get actually has a fallback mode, which means it'll it'll work in, in Internet Explorer and it'll work in, in browsers. And I'll show you guys the different browsers it works in, as, as a matter of fact, later on. But once we use this slideshow, we can give it a name. It'll generate image tiles. We can add pictures to this thing. So I can import a whole folder, or I can import different images here. So I'll just add a new image. And it's going to use the DMX Zone Image Resizer, which is really pretty handy because it's going to resize our images for our slideshow for us. I'm going to browse for an image, and I'll grab, let's say, this one right here. It's a JPEG. Click OK. It's going to put it out there and let me you know, put it in my folder, basically, resize the image. So I'll click OK. Now, of course, you probably want to have a site set up for this kind of thing. I'll go grab another image. We can grab as many slides as we want or images as we want. I'll go grab one more. And you'll notice I can actually grab Photoshop files. It's using the built-in converter that's built into Dreamweaver. If you guys have that version of Dreamweaver, that will do it, CS4, CS5. If I click OK, it'll take me out to the image preview. I can do things like crop, etc. I'll click OK. It'll say, where do you want to save it? I'll stick it in my images folder. Put it right in there. Click OK. Now, I can change a lot of different things about this. I can change sizes, all different types of uh, features if I want. We can then do things like reorder images. You can mark one as your favorite or the current slide, rather. Uh, I can go through and title these things, which are really pretty cool. So I can say, hey, this is the, uh, the ceiling of a... Uh, of something. I don't know. <laughs> um, go ahead and title these things. We can add links to them. So you can link between pages. You can add links to other websites. Let me actually do a dmxzone.com. We can add a description. So I can say, here's my description. Whatever you guys want to do. We've got a lot of different stuff we can put in here. Okay. Now, the great thing about this, like I said before, is it's going to use HTML5. This is based on jQuery and it uses CSS for all the styling uses HTML5, W3C standard elements like Canvas, and also uses the CSS3 transitions, but it's not going to use Flash, you guys, so you can get away from Flash with this kind of slideshow. Now, there's a lot of other things we can do here. There's, you know, add or edit behaviors. We can go into the advanced section. We can change things like width, height, size, go in and just do a bunch of different uh, great things to be able to change how this appears or how it works. Now, I'm just going to use the, the generic uh, default settings for the rest of these. I'll click OK. I'll get it out there. It's The great thing about these plugins, or these extensions, rather, are that it, it copies the necessary files into your site folder. That's why you want to set up a site to begin with. But it's also going to let you upload them. So you can FTP them right now if you want to, but I don't need to do that. So I'll click Close. I'll do it later on. And I'll put my slideshow in there. Now, I can test this out. If I go to Live View or take it out to a browser, we can take a look at it, and you guys will see exactly what's going on. So you get a nice little preview, nice little play button. All the descriptions, things out here are basically showing up. All right, let me click on Live View again to turn this off. If I click on the actual slideshow, take a look out here, you guys are going to see that we have the properties down in the bottom down here. So a lot of the things that we already saw in the advanced section are right down here. We can do things like change the effects, transitions, how does it do it, does it push, does it you know, reveal, etc. It's really simple. It's all right down here. We can even do like a Ken Burns slideshow, and that's what's happening right here, where it's using a little bit of motion to randomly put that out there. I can turn that off. I can even shuffle it, random start it, autoplay it or not. And I can go back to that dialog box by clicking on slides. So that'll take me right back here. I can add more pictures, change pictures, titles, descriptions, whatever I need to do. And it's really cool about this kind of thing, you guys. If you 
use DMX Zone uh, extensions, a lot of them integrate together, which means like auto-generate DMX Zone lightbox links. You can create a lightbox out of this, or at least have it linked to a lightbox. So once again, advanced section, you can also click on about. It'll tell you a little bit about what it's supposed to do and even show you some other great extensions that they have available. All right, I'm going to click OK. And if you want to take it further, you guys, there's a lot of things we can do with this. You can test it in all the different browsers. You'll notice that it has its own styling over here on the right. So if I take a look at the CSS Styles panel, suppose I want to do some different things like add a border to this or change it up. Once again, the styles are all available on the right over here. So this is the DMX Zone HTML5 Slideshow Extension. Just to show you guys what kind of browsers, things like that it works in. You'll see here's the actual site. Right here, you can see Internet Explorer 7, 8, Opera, Safari, Firefox, Google Chrome, iPad even, because it's not based on Flash, which is really pretty cool. So anyway, I figured I'd just take you through a quick tour of the HTML5 Slideshow uh, found on DMXZone.com. Once again, my name is Brian Wood, and I'm a developer, and I use these types of things all the time for all my different sites, even handing them out to students to show them how they can create some really cool things very simply.